Dishonest media, very, very unfair. Okay. So today, today, we went to Cleveland second, and they were incredible. We had a tremendous 25, 27,000 people in this incredible, incredible place. But before Cleveland, we were in Dayton, Dayton, Ohio. And the crowd was unbelievable. In fact, really incredible. We didn't have anything like this. We had very little disruption. It was going along. And all of a sudden, the people in the front row start screaming, be careful, watch it, watch it. I'm speaking, I'm saying, what's this all about? I look back, and there's a guy charging the stage. And I mean charging, he put on a bull rush, charging the stage. And I have to tell you, folks, the Secret Service was unbelievable. <laughs> unbelievable. Stand up. Look at these guys. They were unbelievable. You know, we have to give credit where credit is due. You know, the Secret Service, they got a little bad publicity. They don't deserve. This is a great group of people. I've gotten to know them. You know, the crowds have been so large, they said we have to have Secret Service. And we ha I've gotten to know so many of them. These are incredible people, incredible individuals, and they are tough. So, so, so this guy charges. The people are screaming from the front row. This guy is charging from behind because we're in this hangar. It's a massive hangar, much bigger than this. The room was full. We moved the stage way back. It kept going back. And then we just put a lot of people back in back of us. The place was packed. But this guy jumps over a railing that's this high. In fact, the people that were next to him couldn't believe it. And he was clapping like this, the whole thing, clapping, clapping. And then all of a sudden, boom, he jumps out. And they're screaming, look out. And I look out and I see this guy charging. Now I'm elevated, but they're charging. He's charging. He's got his girlfriend in the back screaming like crazy, screaming like a total maniac. And this guy is running. And the Secret Service guys, he just got to the stage, and the Secret Service guys hit him like you wouldn't believe. They took him out. Man. And he was a tough guy. He was a strong guy. In fact, the people couldn't believe that from a standing jump, he was able to get over a 50-inch railing. That's a hard thing to do. So in a certain way, I guess he was in pretty good shape, but strong. But he got over this railing and, and, you know, just phony people clapping, 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 says, you ready? Jumps over, tries to make a rush at me. Now, I was ready. I don't know if I would have done well, but I would have been out there fighting, folks. I don't know if I would have done well, but I would have been boom, 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 up, beat that. So you probably saw on television today, I'm turning around, I'm saying, what's going on? And I got it from, and those people were so great. The heart, you know, they really, they were scared. They're looking, watch out, Mr. Trump, watch out, watch out. And I turn around and I see this guy just totally rushing the stage. And he gets to the thing, he actually had his hand on, or a couple of hands on the stage. And I will tell you, he got, he got taken down. You would not believe it. He's got to have, he has got to be one very sore person. But, but that's not the, that's not the terrible part. The terrible part, I'm going to tell you, right? So they bring them into a court and they process him. And the judge lets him go. Okay. All right. Now, let me tell you, if he would have gotten on stage, it would have been a problem, to be honest, because it would have been a problem, because he was looking to do harm. This wasn't a guy that was looking to, you know, have a little fun. This was a guy that was looking to do harm. So the judge let him go. And then one of my people said, wow, they found his name. And it was probably ISIS or ISIS related. Do you believe it? And then they go online. My, my people found this. Then they go online and they find the guy is playing all sorts of very, let's say, music that you wouldn't be liking, dragging an American flag along the sidewalk, making all sorts of gestures, having all sorts of things on the Internet, and he's probably or possibly ISIS-related. Now, let me just tell you where I have some real problems. Number one, that should have been found out, okay? It shouldn't be found out by one of my Internet people. Number two, this guy should be in jail right now. He shouldn't be out. 
This guy should be in jail. He should be in jail. And for a judge to let him go is incredible, but he should be in jail. Yeah, law and order. It's called law and order. Who said that? That man. Now, you know, what you said is a terrible thing. There are a lot of people say, law and order, that's a terrible thing to say. Law and order. You're right. You're right. So they let him go. And after they let him go, they found all this stuff about his, uh, his real love and where he comes from and the whole thing. Now, who knows what's going to happen when they go back to get him? Who knows if they're ever going to find him again, folks? But our courts have to get tougher and sharper and smarter, or we are very, very — we're going to be in a lot of trouble as a country. We already are. We already are. I mean, even here today, I said to the police today, look, you're going to have some protests, because I know this. I mean, I'm pretty good at this stuff. And I said, you're going to have some protests. And by the way, in Dayton, other than him, it was so beautiful. In Cleveland, it was, it was beautiful. I, it was so beautiful. The hall, the crowd was massive. You know, this one is packed, but we're, it's a much smaller venue. And that's why so many people can't get in. They're outside. I hate to waste seats on this. They were, they were all over him. Man, did he get taken down. He got taken down like a sack of potatoes. It was wow. I mean, amazing. But honestly, the Secret Service, they were so incredible. But now the judge lets him go. And now they find out he's ISIS-related or could be ISIS-related. Certainly, he's not in love with our country, that I can tell you, okay? And we got to get tougher, folks, and we got to get smarter. We have to get smarter, you know? You know, we had — we had a case where, at the last debate before this — did I win that debate?